you have heard me say it in my teachings that just because the bible is opened does not mean it is opened just because you can flip it open does not mean it is open there is a seal that unlocks this because the bible is a compendium of secrets and just because you open and you are reading does not mean the light from it is coming to you are we together now yes the secrets of the kingdom are hidden here. And until the spirit of grace opens your eyes to see. It says, open down my eyes. Was he blind? But he said, open down my eyes that I may behold wondrous things out of thy law. The day God opens your eyes, you will open this Bible. And you will no longer be reading a story. You will be reading yourself. Literally. You will find a place written about you. You will know that no one has fulfilled that prophecy yet. Listen, let me tell you something. I hope I can preach. I, I, can, I, can I be? It is not every prophecy here that was fulfilled in time past and is just informing us. There are prophecies here that there are men on earth who will fulfill it. One day you are going to stumble across a scripture. When you read it, you will know this verse is for you. Not prophetically, directly. This one is a verse about you. When the messianic prophecy was written in Isaiah 61. Yes, prophetically to the church. But it was written about a specific individual. When Jesus came, are we Bible students? In Luke chapter 4, the Bible says that it was given to him the scroll of Esaias. He opened it to read and he said, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, he said, For he hath anointed me to preach glad tidings to the meek. He had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to set the captives free, etc. When he read it, he said, This day is this scripture fulfilled in your eyes. That means the one this was written for has come. One day you will open a scripture and you will read it and find out that no one has fulfilled it before. That scripture is still there as a code waiting for you. You will now begin to trace your background and find out that it fits the description of the one they said will fulfill this. The only thing is that we come from a, a context that belittles ourselves. We just believe once it's not a white man somewhere, or it's someone who had died somewhere, it can't be me fulfilling this. That's why Nathaniel said, can anything good come out of Nazareth? Talk about the rest, but can anything good come out of Nazareth?